here to wrap up the regular season. Game two of the doubleheader are about to start here on Fox Sports Wisconsin. Craig Sean and Bill Schroeder back on board. And uh, it certainly was a good game. One for Milwaukee. Well pitched. They won three to nothing. Kristen Yelich gets in the home run swing his 12th. <laughs> and uh, good to see right there your, your big guy stepping up at the plate. Now, the, the good thing about that home run, not that it was just the home run, but you know how it happened. The pitch that he was able to hit in the center field. Christian has been kind of struggling this year on breaking balls down and kind of rolling over on them with swings and misses. That was a slider that was out or half. He waited back and just hammered that baseball into center field. That was a big home run. Gave the Brewers a 3 to nothing lead and certainly the pitching was able to do the rest. Brent Suter outstanding in four innings. Brewers bullpen you know, Williams, Hader, outstanding work. But uh, just when the Brewers needed, you know, a good uh, good start from Brent Suter, he was able to get give it to him, and uh, hopefully they're going to be able to take over and, you know, and win game two. Yeah, season high four innings for him, and uh, outstanding job, as you mentioned, by the bullpen. Now it's up to Josh Lindblom as the Brewers go for the sweep here at this doubleheader. And look how good he has been over his last two starts. Rock only giving up one earned run. And again, after a couple of appearances out of the bullpen, they put him in the bullpen a little bit. A couple of appearances, one inning each. And last 10 in the third, only one earned run. He's allowed six hits. I mean, able to minimize the walk. He has not walked a batter in any of his last two starts. And you hope that continues here today. So for game two of this doubleheader, the Brewers are technically the home team, even though all the stats in this game will show up as a road game for Milwaukee. But uh, as this odd season has turned out, the Brewers will get a makeup, if you will, for some of those lost games back here at Miller Park from earlier this season. And one pitch, one out, top of the order there for Colton Wong. So a good start for Lindblom. And Lindblom has been able to rack up the strikeouts this year. 50 punch outs and 38 innings of work. He's been able to minimize the walks as of late. That's the key. Eliminate the base on balls. 38 hits, 38 innings. Not too bad for Lindblom. Tommy Edmond, the batter now, is Brent Sue Lewis. Let's get to the Hyundai Brewers batting order. Garcia, Yelich, and Braun, and then Vogelbach, Kira, Jerko, Sogar, Garcia, and Jacob Dottingham. The only change, start behind the plate for Craig Council. Daniel Ponce de Leon on the mound for his eighth start. Yeah, looking for his first win. No decision against the Brewers back at Miller Park on September 14th. Hits pretty well. Six innings, two runs. That included nine strikeouts. He's had nine strikeouts in back-to-back -back starts. And Craig Council does not mess with his order after that big win in game one. It is the same right down to the one through eight spots. And then Nottingham, the catcher, replaces Navares. 